Well, 11,000 Australians live in Tokyo and around a quarter of a million more visit each year. The government's trying to track down Australians who are so far unaccounted for. And this afternoon, Cabinet's National Security Committee met to discuss the situation in Japan. With me in the studio is the Attorney General, Robert McClelland. Has that meeting of the National Security Committee authorised any particular action today? We basically received a report of the Urban Search and Rescue uh, Mission. The efforts being made, as you indicated, by DFAT to locate um, Australians in the area. We're still concerned about 140 Australians uh, who are in the area, as well as receiving a briefing, of course, on the uh, nuclear issue, which... Um, uh, your uh, your news and coverage uh, tonight has covered. Well, I'll go through all of those things in, a de in uh, detail in a second. I just wanted to ask, though, the fact that the National Security Committee is meeting, does that imply that the government believes that there is some sort of national security threat to Australia from what's going on in Japan, particularly given the nuclear situation? Uh, the National Security Meeting will, um, e will meet if there is a threat to the safety and security of Australians either at home or abroad. And clearly there is uh, a threat to the safety and indeed there, there'll be Australians in distress, possibly injured, prob possibly worse uh, uh, abroad, but we're also concerned obviously with unfolding developments. So it's quite appropriate that the National Security Committee will, will look at these matters. On the unfolding developments around the nuclear threat, is Australia mm. providing any assistance to Japan in terms of that? We've offered uh, the assistance of uh, four experts uh, to work with the International uh, Atomic Energy Agency uh, to assist Japan. Uh, we haven't had a feedback uh, as yet on that, but, but our officials, uh, our experts, uh, are talking one to the other uh, about the various issues. So uh, I think your coverage is qu uh, accurately pointed, which was the formal advice to National Security Committee. It's, um, it's too early to make a uh, definitive prediction on, on what might happen there. You said you also had a briefing about the Australians who are unaccounted for at the moment. Just give us a sense of, of how many of those are still missing. Um, yes, well, the, uh, we have about 140 that we're very concerned about in the area, but of the 11,000 Australians uh, that re reside there or visit, there could be any number who aren't registered. Uh, there are about 3,124 Australians who have registered. Normally that's only about 10% of those who are in the country. So, so not it's quite only, hard to tell in It's words. very hard to tell. Not only do we try and find those who have registered, which is much easier, we have contact numbers, but we try and ask uh, other Australians and officials uh, of Australians they may know in the vicinity. So, I mean, it's, um, we're, we're doing radio ads. Our DFAT officers are going around to hospitals, to morgues, uh, generally to make inquiries as to Australians that, who, who may be in the region. And we're talking there about people who, who live there. What about tourists? Well, you've got about 225,000 tourists uh, who uh, go from Australia to Japan. Uh, the area is a popular skiing destination, so it's, uh, it's not an easy task. Um, I think we've received something like 7,000 calls um, uh, that have provided information. Um, but um, it's, it's a big, big task. You've been speaking this afternoon to some of the people involved in the uh, search and rescue mission. What sort of things yeah. are they telling you? Yeah, it's headed by a fellow called Rob McNeil. Um, they're about to embark on the journey. It's about a 12-hour journey up to the badly affected uh, province, Migai uh, province, I think the pronunciation is. Uh, the, the last third is going to be particularly difficult. They are timing that uh, to arrive at that difficult part at first light. Um, they um, obviously, and we've been at pains to ensure that they are away from the nuclear concerns, that they have sufficient protections, uh, and we're working through the taskings that they'll have, which are obviously going to be uh, dis distressing, uh, grim in many circumstances, but they're um, prepared for that. Mr McClellan, thank you very much it's for my pleasure. us tonight.